Hello, it's Mr. Chili Legs back with another game, and today we're playing Frambo. You see, I wanted to do some more horror games because it's been a while since I've done one. And um, I was looking through the horror games, and I got quite a few. You know, I went through all 45 pages, and in total, I think I got about three of them that seemed interesting. And this was one of them, Frambo. You know, I, I'd, I've heard of it, but um, it looks quite old. To be honest, and I didn't think it was that old. But um, anyway, let's get into Fran Bo. That 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 sounds wrong. Two seconds. Like oh, her eyes followed the mouse. I didn't notice that. That's creepy. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, everything's fine. It's no, it's not though, is it? It feels like heaven. Games. I see my parents. Horror games that involve little girls. Nah, bruv. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. Oh, fun. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. That's a pretty badass name for a cat, actually. My best friend, Mr. Midnight. My only friend, are oh, you sad bitch? We ha we are having dinner, and I see it on Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Grace, what's gonna happen, man? What's a cat eating on the table for? We are having so much fun. And then the music gets a bit more menacing. Cast play with you on, why not? It's Monday night, I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something's feeling real bad. Ah oh, shit, here we go. Oh! Christ. A strange creature outside my window. I'd, I'd say, mate, that... I don't like it, it scares me. Fucking same here, bruv. Jesus. Suddenly, I hear something. Go the other way, love. It's mom screaming, brilliant. They went out! Man, I want to know what's wrong. You really don't, mate. Just don't. Don't do it. Haven't you seen a horror film? Of course not. You're like 10. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Don't ever go in your parents' room in the middle of the night. You don't know what you're going to walk in on. And closer. Ah. Mom? Dad? She's crying blood. Please don't. She's crying blood. What the? F Mommy? Daddy? Jesus Christ, they've been ripped to shreds, mate. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. See, whole games with little gills are always fucked up. I mean, remember Emily wants to play? Actually, you probably don't because that was ages ago, man, when I played that. That was like at the start of my bloody channel. Midnight, what are you doing? Don't leave me, bruv. Midnight, mate, what are you doing? I mean, taken away by a stranger in a hood. Brian, please follow my voice. Nah, mate, I ain't following no one's voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Dust. Twist. Three. Brian, how do you feel? Like, absolute shit, mate. I feel like dying. A little dark for a little girl to say that. So, you know, I think I'm going to say I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same thing. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I think we're going to say go home because she's a 10 year old girl. What's she going to do? Yeah. When she finds the demonic killer. I want to go home, mate. Just just let us go, yeah? You can't go home, fan. You have to get well. I need my cat. Mate, midnight left me. What an arse. Man, I want to find my cat and slap it in the face. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. The cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Well, aren't you? Fucking glass half empty kind of guy. Jesus. 
But now I have something for you, fan. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh, it's from Aunt Grace. Yeah, the bitch. Where was she, man? She was supposed to be looking after me that night. And my parents got moided. Oh. This was my mother's purse. Really, we have a purse. Open it. There's something inside. What is it? Oh, a little note. Use. Use. I can't use this. Uh, Alright, let's examine the note. Ah, dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. <laughs> oh, look, there's little Fran examining that object, combining it with stuff. What, what a weird fucking way to introduce the mechanics. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it. Uh, hold on. And give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love on Grace. I love that. I love the way it like explains the mechanics of the game. She's worried about you. On Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. How do you know? You sleeping with my auntie? so tired of this. Can I leave now? Let me go, you creep. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine, mate? You know, I'm like 10. It's called Girotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Can't you just give me some weed or something, bruv? Just give me that heroin. Oh, Jesus. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Do, do. Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Yeah, fucking them same visions, buff. Here, fine. Take your medicine. How bad could it be? Oh! Oh no, take her back to her room. Take, take me to fucking anywhere, mate. Just get me out of here. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. No shit. It made me look into the void of hell. Beware, Franbo. Who's this fucking goat horn motherfucker? If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down catch you and bring you back to insanity that sounds absolutely awful Fran wake up hey you you bloody bastard you left me the medicine will help you escape escape you took me somewhere worse mate I'll be waiting for you in the forest I love you do you bollocks mate you left me Chapter 1. My Sober Day. Yeah, Fran's also a raging alcoholic. If you couldn't tell. Alright, Fran, love, get out of bed. That is a creepy ass painting of a clown. Come on, get up, you lazy bitch. Oh, shit, I accidentally skipped stuff. I have to get out of here. Hey, they're giving you drugs like that, too, bloody right. Jesus. Uh, how do I. Oh, it's a point walk. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. My melody. I will get your nose. I will get it. Mate, I'd smash that painting. I'd throw it out the window. Oh. I got a hook. I'll save it and play pirate later. I've to of course we will. I don't know why we're talking like this. Uh, the curtains are fucked up. I don't think anyone's going to be happy about that. I guess I brought the curtains. Yes, you did, Fran, you vandalism little bitch. Wheelchair! My legs are just fine. Oh, good for you. Wait. Nurse Cratchit. 
Oh, fine. You're awake. Good. Yeah. How long was I asleep? Answer me, bitch. Three days, maybe. Three days. What, what was in that medicine bag? Fuck me up. So many days gone by. So much time lost. Your cat is probably dead, girl. I leave. I'm working. What a nice thing to say to an insane ten-year-old girl. Your cat is dead. Fuck your mental health, bitch. Right, uh... I did something. Lady nurse, I did something. I pissed the bed. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? I brought the curtains, mate. I brought the curtains. They're, they're shit. You know, you can't even open them without them falling down. I was trying to look outside and accidentally brought the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. No problem. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside the room. No, she actually fucked off. She went into that eye over there. Yo, well up. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds up the curtains? What's a hook, mate? I don't know what a hook is. I never read Peter Pan. Oh, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. That's, that's supposed to be like telling them off. You little girl. How dare you be so little and girly. Stupid. Oh, see you later, bitch. I'm going in your desk. Fucking give it here. Oh, bandages. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. She's anticipating injury. Brilliant. Wait, the nurse's handwriting is awful. Too bloody right. I only understand three words. What? Well, find bow. What does that say? What's, what's, what's your last name, love? Okay, now. Uh, what's this? Fine and trauma. Brilliant. I don't care about your trauma. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Fuck it out, go, go and give us that. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. Yeah, for, oh, I have it now. Fucking bring it on, nurse. I'll leave it as it was. Nah, I'll keep it. I'll, uh... Right, that's Fambo going around with a gun, mate. You get me? Oh. We can click the crucifix. Hopefully, this won't fall on my head while I'm asleep. Obviously, that's what everyone worries about. What's in your lockbox, mate? Oh, sweet, it's a secret box. Oh, I've stolen the shit. You right there, there, little Timmy? You right there, mate? Hi, Phil. Oh, you right, Phil? Hello. You right there, mate? Know any way out of here? You know the way out, right? Yep, yep. You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. Brilliant. Tell me one, bastard. Thank you, bye. Well, no, mate, we need to know the way out. Yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. Brilliant. What do you mean, mate? Explain. Explain yourself, Phil. The office, what do you mean? I saw the doctor by a secret code. Secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Why not? Why does he gotta be a little bitch? I don't see anybody. Bye. What? Who? Explain. Him. Who's him? You mean him from the Path of Girls? That fucking was creepy, man. How did he make it into a car? And I do not know. Bro, what are you doing? Bro. And nobody will help you escape. Uh, Phil. But you can, you can, just... mate. You, you really need to get on some meds. Man, that, that's, that, that, that ain't normal shit right there, Phil. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. You need a fucking doctor. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Brilliant. Good old fan, always full of enthusiasm. Now what? Oh, wooden horse. Case, blah, 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 blah. Fillmore Bronstone. Age 8. Male. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behaviour. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with... Don't care about your life, Phil. Sorry, mate. Got my own shit to worry about. I'm going back to bed, mate. Fuck it. Actually, no. I want to read my file. Fine, bro. Dagenhart. 
Dagen Heart, mate, you're not Skyrim character. Fucking hell. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagen Heart family tragically details and met. Brilliant. Let's go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Fucking hell. Spoiled bitch. What's in your wardrobe? Good reason to get curious. Well, I just have to get the key for this. Where's the key? Mate, you don't make life easy, do you? Empty. Brilliant. Let's look out the window. Alright, let's not look at the window, that's creepy. I don't like it. Uh, is, is there anything else we can open on this? What do we do? God damn it. This window. So creepy. God damn, man. It's nice! Read the nut. Good and tiny, you are fine hiding from me. What? How to find... Hate the monster. Yep, everyone hates the monster. You want to go to bed now? I don't want to go to bed. Why not? Why don't you want to do what you told, you bitch? Look through the looking glass. Chair. If I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? <laughs> oh, fun. You're filled with the best logic, mate. Love it. Uh... Little doll. Yours love little dolls, don't they? I used to have a blue dress like yours. Brilliant. Never looked at this window. Nothing. No. Got a watchtower over there. Mate, what are you on a watchtower for? Tower defense. It's a mental ward for children, mate. Oh, a little code. Hide. Hide no numbers. Uh... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, J, K, H. Uh, what? I don't, I don't understand codes. Oh, I don't, I, 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 pills? Oh, no, that's the shit that the doctor gave me, man. Oh, I don't want this shit. Who's here? Ah, uh, fun. Just to let you know. Did, Phil! Jesus, what's happened to you? This ain't normal. Wait. This, this. Okay, so now we can go into the nether dimension. Let's go there one more time. Oh, uh, you can see. Can we open the door now? Uh. Okay. Uh. Phil! Alright, I'm just gonna leave you there, mate. That's a creepy bitch in the window. I'm done. Mate, I'm off. See you later. Oh, no. Absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. What in the name of... Fuck knows what is going on, man. I wonder what she has to tell me. You're adopted. That daughter has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Brilliant. Uh, okay, let's explore the never. Uh, give give us that yarn, mate. Okay, I could use that. Excuse me, lady nurse. That may be useful. Can, can that noise just not? Mate, you look better than the nurse, to be honest. What's your... S I want that yarn, man. Can I combine anything else? I'm on the hook! With the... Knitting needle. Of, of course not. That don't make no sense! They're, they're holding my head. Okay, I think I'm going to step away from the window. Brilliant. Dead fox. Sure, why not? It was not me. Don't, don't cry. He ain't crying, love. He ain't crying. Mate. What is life? Right, I, I've, I've been look, looking around for ages and I don't know what I'm looking for. 
that I'm gonna put her back in the normal world, yeah, because that, that, that this ain't this ain't natural, mate. It's not how medication works. But I'm I'm gonna leave it here. I might come back to this, you know. It's certainly creepy. I give it that. I mean, a little girl going through all this horrible, traumatic stuff, having hallucinations of what the hell the mental that is behind her. But I'm I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.